I'm Nancy Strickland and this video will show you a way to make sure your graphics keep looking good when they run on monitors with higher resolutions. Here's a simple little application. It has a graphic. Let me run it. And you can see that, you know, it looks fine, although it's small. But it's running on a high resolution screen. And some users might think that these icons and that this text is too small. And if they do, what Microsoft recommends, what, what's in the help, is that the user should go to the control panel like this, and the user should not change the resolution. In other words, in the past, users often used a lower resolution than the highest one that the monitor would support, and that tends to make everything look fuzzy, although it does make things get bigger. So Microsoft is now saying, leave it at the recommended resolution so you get the highest quality graphics possible, and instead change these settings. And they can make the size of your graphics and, and everything on your screen larger by either 25% or 50%. Well, what I'm going to do is instead is go over here and set a custom text size. And I'm going to set it to 200% just because that will really exaggerate the effect of running at a higher uh, DPI. This is called a high DPI, high dots per inch setting. So I'm going to apply it and it explains that I have to log off. This is actually a good thing because in previous versions of Windows you had to completely uh, shut the machine down and restart it. So having to log off is relatively a pretty good deal. So I'm going to log off now and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back now and you can see that the icons and the text are quite a bit larger, but let me run my app again. And you'll see that I have a definite problem with my image quality now. What didn't show up so much in the smaller images, uh, the fuzziness is very apparent at this high DPI setting. In some cases, you might see all kinds of other problems too. It's not uncommon to see controls that sort of move out of place and are not lined up anymore after they're scaled up, or text maybe that doesn't fit on the label or, or on the form correctly. Now that's because when a user chooses a high DPI setting, that invokes a scaling engine that automatically enlarges everything. Now in general, that's great because it handles a lot of work for you and it works well most of the time in WinForms and in WPF. In fact, it works particularly smoothly in, in WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation. So that's a reason to consider using it in situations where scaling is an issue, is likely to be an issue. Now in WinForms, you can also adjust the auto scale mode property of a form to either scale based on the font used, which is best for controls with text if you're having problems with that, or based on the DPI setting, which is best for graphics. Native code applications can be more of a problem, but there are APIs that you can use to handle scaling issues yourself in code. If you're going to do that, you'll also have to add a line to your manifest saying that your application is DPI aware, which means not to apply the scaling engine to it. But the problem that we're seeing here isn't going to be fixed that way. You really have only one solution to poor graphic quality at high DPI, and that's to provide a second high-res graphic and use it when an application is scaled up by the user changing the DPI setting, which of course you have very little control over. All you'll need to do this is code so that your application can detect when it's being run on a high DPI setting, and if so, substitute your higher res graphic. So let's look at how to do that. Now I'm working in C Sharp here, let me make this bigger, and I'm going to put this code and the equivalent code in, in Visual Basic up on my blog so you can download it if you want. The address is at the end of this video. I'm going to put some code to get the current DPI setting. Now I have to get a handle to the current window to do that and use it to create a graphics object. So the first thing I'm going to do is add using system drawing. Then I'm going to come down here into the constructor and I'm going to get some code that will get me a graphics object from the current window. So I've got a handle to the current window. And then I want to have a variable here, res, for resolution, and I'm going to assign to it the current horizontal resolution 
of this window, the current window. Now you can see I'm only getting the horizontal resolution, not the vertical, but that's enough for what I need to know. And then I can just dispose of that graphics object. Now what I want to do, down here is my button click. Um, in, when I load the form, I'm getting some images right now. Frog and Toucan and Otter in low res. What I'm going to do is add here a conditional and say if the resolution is 96, that's low res, then we'll load those images. But otherwise, if the resolution is high res, and I could check, I could say if res is 144 or 120, 120 is the medium and 144 is the high, that's the 150%. In that case, I'll load these other higher resolution pictures. And then if the user is running in low res, they're using the smaller graphics. If the user is running the app in high DPI mode, the graphics are going to be the larger graphics and they'll still look nice, though it might possibly take a little longer to load. Now I'll run the app again so that you can see that it's scaled up, but the graphics looks nice and clean again. Actually, otters look a little fuzzy no matter what. So that's a way to handle high DPI graphic issues in Windows 7 in less than 7 minutes.